Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This problem tells us that we have a driver with a reaction time of half of a second, and they say that the maximum deceleration of her car is six meters per second squared. She's driving at 20 meters per second when she sees something in the road 50 meters in front of her and she slams on the brake. Can she stop in time? So we have three parts of the question really that we're trying to solve for. The final thing that we want is we want to know, did she stop in time? So we're trying to essentially solve for the final X distance. We have three scenarios. So we have car right here. That's an ugly car. Okay, and... Okay, so this distance, they tell us, is 50 meters. And we'll label them one, two, and three. Sometimes people will lab label this zero, meaning the start, but I like just one, two, and three. And we know that here for the initial velocity, she's going at 20 meters per second. We could say it's just the velocity because she's going at a constant 20 meters per second, not accelerating or decelerating. This time is zero seconds. And the x initial is zero because that's just where we're very starting to look at the problem. And the x final, we don't know. So we need to solve for that before we can move on to the next step. So for part one, to do that, we're going to use a kinematic equation. And we'll be using the one which is x final is equal to x initial plus the velocity times the change in time. And then it's plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. So now from this section to this section, we know that we're starting out at half of a second, but we don't know what the total time is for this section. So we need an equation that has all of those variables, including what we want to solve for, but doesn't have time in it. And we're trying to solve for the x final for this section. So to do that, we're going to use the equation, we'll put two here, v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2a times delta x. So now we are trying to solve for delta x, so let's isolate that. So we have v final squared, we'll move that over, minus v initial squared is equal to 2a delta x. We'll divide both sides by 2a, divide both sides by 2a, so delta x now is equal to v final squared minus v initial squared over 2 times the acceleration. For this, the final velocity right here, this is the spot where she stops, this final velocity is 0. So v final for this section is 0 meters per second. So this will also be zero since that is the final for this chunk right here. So now if we simplify that a little further, let's go down a little bit. So let's come over here. So we have delta x is equal to negative v initial squared divided by two times the acceleration. So for this, we want the negative to remain outside of the parentheses because what we have is negative, or we're minusing v squared. So it's essentially saying that. So don't get confused, because sometimes students will square a negative vi, which will give you an incorrect answer. We need a negative initial velocity. So now when we plug in our values, we have a negative. The v initial for this section is going to be 20 meters per second. And we'll square that whole value because this is just where she barely starts to hit the brake, so she's still technically going at 20 meters per second. We'll divide all of that by two times the acceleration, which we said is a negative six meters per second squared. So now it makes more sense why we have to have the negative on the top, because we'll have a negative for this value. Two times this negative six will also get a, give us a negative value for the bottom, so the whole distance will be a positive distance because she's going in the positive x direction. So let's come to our calculator and we have a negative 20 squared. And then that will be divided by 
2 times a negative 6. The distance that she went for this section is 33.33 meters. So 33.3 meters. But this doesn't account for this 10 that we already went. So when we add the two sections together, 10 meters from the first one, plus 33.3 meters for the second section when she is slowing, gives us a total distance of her slowing down of 43 meters. So the question asks, will she have enough time to stop? And yes, she will stop in time because 43 is obviously less than the 50 meters distance that she had.